Welcome everyone, Stacy and Stacy here. And a lot of people have come to me um, really complaining about that jiggle in their arms. So today, Stacy and I really wanted to address why you have that jiggle and what you can do about it. And we're gonna give you just the lowdown on the jiggle, okay? But First, we'll just go ahead and introduce ourselves in case people don't know us. Um, I'm Stacy Portugal and I'm a board certified life coach and I specialize in wellness. I primarily do weight loss coaching and the reason I got into this profession is because I struggled for 20 years with bad dieting. I would start a diet and then have like shiny object syndrome and go to the next diet. And I was just really feeling pretty bad about myself. Um, eventually, through diet and lifestyle change, I did get to goal. But what really inspired me to move forward in this business um, was the fact that I just, I got to goal in painful increments. And I really didn't understand it. And I was really yearning to understand the science behind nutrition so that essentially I could help myself and help my clients. And it, would, it really led me on a journey of um, really being able to help hundreds of people lose weight. So um, I'll throw it over now to Stacy, Stacy and Stacy. Hi, Stacy Chase. Um, so I've been a lifelong fitness fanatic. Uh, I began formally exercising in high school when I gave up competitive gymnastics, and it was started with just some running and swimming. And then in the late 80s, I started aerobicizing along with Jane Fonda, and uh, just became a huge fan of group fitness. And um, I participated in every new class that came about. And then once I had my kids, I, and I was more on their schedules, I turned to running and biking because that was easier. I could do that on my own time. And, uh, and from there, that led into kickboxing and, and other classes. And you know, basically, I'm just a cardio junkie. And uh, working out has always just been a way of life for me. And it, for me, it just feels abnormal not to work out. And uh, you know, over the years, people have always have asked me if I'm a trainer or you know, what I do for my workouts, or you know, just to asking questions about the whole fitness world. And you know, at that point, it was really more for myself and you know, for my health and well-being. And I got to a point where I was making a career change, and I thought, you know what, I really think it's time for me to do what I'm passionate about. And so right now, I'm in the process of getting certified as a personal trainer, and uh, I'm really looking forward to helping others who, uh, who, where fitness is a big part of their lives, and, and they want help getting fit or staying fit. That's great. And you know, obviously, I know a lot of health practitioners, and we are all in it for the same reasons. We have a passion for it, and there's really that love of helping other people. So, all right, so today we're going to cover the practical of how to get rid of that jiggle in your arm, but also why. Why do you have that jiggle in your arm? So, the first thing I want to say is you may have a jiggle in your arm and be at a healthy weight. Um, and that can certainly happen. So as we age, we fat sort of starts distributing a little differently. And there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of research that I'm aware about that, but I think we can all attest that it's pretty true. In fact, I was telling Stacy, I'm a pear shape, and normally I just carry you know my weight like in my legs, my butt, that kind of thing. But as I've gotten a little older, I definitely have noticed the jiggle in my arm, and I never carried fat in my upper body, and even in my stomach a little bit. So certainly, you know, this this kind of stuff is normal. It's a normal part of aging. What do you think about that, Stace? Yeah, I mean, you really can't choose where the fat's going to settle or, you know, where, you I mean, obviously everyone has an ideal place where they'd like the fat, you know, to lose the fat, but you don't get those choices. So that's why we are putting forth our, our program that can help people uh, in, in the, the whole scope of it to, to lose the fat and then to start with the toning because you, you can decide where you want to tone your muscles and which areas of your body 
that you want to work and, and strengthen. Yeah, I agree. In fact, one of the reasons that you might have a jiggle in your arm is because you, you are lacking muscle definition. Mm -hmm. And um, we also do not mention genetics. That Genetics plays a role in so much of uh, what our physical body looks like, our health overall. So, you know, aging, you know, overall fat um, composition of your body. So just your body composition, you might go, you might be a little higher on, um, you know, your overall fat composition and that could create a jiggle in your arms. Genetic, as we said, and also maybe a lack of muscle definition. Yeah. So, all right, so that's really sort of the why. And now, let's, Stacey, let's kind of get into, you know, some practical solutions. So from a fitness standpoint, what can we do to improve the look of our arms? Well, I think either, first of all, um, I know that you're going to talk to the nutrition uh, portion of it, but... Um, it's really important to to burn some calories uh, and to help with along with the diet and to lose the fat. So, um, you know, your workout is going to need a cardio component to it to, to get your calorie burn um, because you really aren't going to burn many calories just by doing arm exercises. So um, you're going to want to incorporate the cardio and then also do your strength training. And, you know, it's, it's really like a whole program. You're going to want to Make sure that you, um, you know, because when we get older, you're going to want to incorporate some functional training. So you're going to want to build and maintain stability, balance, flexibility, and ultimately lead to strength and power to help prepare our bodies really for everyday movement um, as we age and to ensure that we stay injury free. Because mm -hmm. if you remain injury free, you can continue to work out. You can yes. continue to burn calories and then you can continue to build strength through weight training mm -hmm. yeah and we're, we're listen we're the aging population so definitely regardless of what you're doing hopefully everyone out there is engaging in some sort of functional fitness training um, to improve their balance and all that kind of stuff I mean that's super super important but um, you and I have created armed and ready for summer and what are what is your goal for people um, fitness wise for armed and ready for summer? How are you approaching this problem? Yeah, well, you know, I'm starting with really just some basic arm exercises that hit all of the the major arm muscles: your your biceps, your triceps, your shoulders, um, and then of course, you know, your back and your chest. And um, you can start. Um, you, you really can gear it towards your ability as it as you are right now. Since I, you know, I'm not able to assess everyone who's going to be doing the program, they can start it at their current level, and then there's room to improve and to increase the amount of weight. A lot of the exercises are using um, body weight. Some are using arm weights. Uh, and, and these are just, you know, this is just a start, but if you continue to work on these exercises and then, um, you know, maybe increase the number of reps, increase the, um, the, uh, amount of weight, um, decrease your rest period between exercise and add your cardio component. And hopefully in that four to six week period, um, you'll, the, our, people will start to see some positive changes. Yeah, and you're saying some really important things there. In order to see this kind of change, you know, we don't want people to think there's some sort of like magic formula or magic, you know, you're going to snap your fingers and you're going to have arm definition. It does take about four to six weeks. And it's going to be a little different for everyone. I know for me, when I start um, I had to take a break for a while um, doing any sort of resistance training, but once I went back, I felt better almost immediately. And I think that I am the kind of person that for whatever the reason, my upper body, mm -hmm. I, I tend to be able to improve that relatively fast. So that'll just be a personal thing, but it's going to be about 
four to six weeks. So in Armed and Ready for Summer, you provide a, a series of arm exercises, but you also help people incorporate high intensity or low impact interval training. Correct. Um, do you want to tell us why you included that? Well, just again, to get the heart rate up and to, um, to get those cardio bursts in there to, uh, to help burn the calories, um, to in, you know, just to, to lose the weight and, and manage the fat and then build the definition. And um, it's just uh, an ideal type of workout to, to give the body what it needs. Yeah, and I've been doing your workout, which I love. Um, and what I especially love about it is it, it's not really that time consuming. I mean, I can be done in, I think it was like 20-ish minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty good, it's pretty yeah. good. And yet, I, I worked up a sweat. And it'll, everyone will react a little differently, and it, it will also depend on that component, whether you're putting a cardio component in or you want to keep it um, sort of a low impact, you can do it that way. It's very easily um, adaptable. Yeah. yeah. And I think this is a really good time to let people know that here's the reality of the jiggle in our arms. Your arm is made up primarily in that area of muscle and fat. And muscle and fat are two different tissues. They don't morph into each other. So we're not turning fat into muscle, and, and conversely, you would never turn muscle into fat. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of, I think, uh, something that's sort of misunderstood by a lot of people. So Stacey and I have really come up with sort of this one-two punch for no pun intended, for um, getting rid of the jiggle in your arms. And it really consists of dealing with the fat. So you have to burn some fat, and Stacy addresses that in her fitness portion. And she also addresses building muscle because your arms are not going to look good unless you have built some muscle. So you could have jiggly arms simply because you don't have enough muscle underneath the fat. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to understand that it's a two-pronged approach, and especially if you are sitting above a healthy weight, it's likely that it's a smart idea to burn some calories and get rid of some of that fat, and as you get rid of the fat, you will be able to reveal the toned arm underneath. That so, would be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what we're hoping for. What'd you say? That's what we're hoping for. That's exactly right. All right. So um, let's kind of also talk about the fact that while we cannot always pick and choose where we're burning fat from, we can definitely target areas of our body to tone and to build muscle. And so Armed and Ready for Summer is really all about the arm, the back, the shoulder, a little bit of chest, mm -hmm. um, and that's really what gives your arm. It's not just doing biceps. You know, your arm, there's a bunch of different muscles in and around the arm area. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let me talk a little bit about the nutrition portion and um, where I was coming from on this. So. In order to burn fat, and I've said this many, many times, and I talk about this all the time with clients, you really have to teach your body to burn fat for energy as opposed to burning glucose for energy. Glucose, as most of you know, which is sugar, comes from the consumption of carbohydrates. And for many of us, um, it's really as simple as eating too high of a carbohydrate diet. And so you might notice if you have um, lost weight in the past, but you kind of notice that your body composition really hasn't changed. That's because technically you're not really burning fat. And so you want to make sure, you want to make good use of your time. That's how I look at things. Like I, my motto is that you should get the results you deserve on the scale. And what that means is you don't want to be like dieting and working hard and 
doing all these arm exercises, and then your body composition is really not changing. So we have to make sure that we will be burning fat. So the approach that I've taken for that is to give people a more carbohydrate-controlled diet. And actually, um, it's carbohydrate-controlled, and so there's a few different ways that we get there. The first thing is I do recommend that people download and use my fitness pal. It gives us a lot of information about what you're eating and how we can sort of change the proportion of what you're eating in order to get you to goal. Um, but also eating more whole foods and staying away from processed foods will make a really big difference. It's a really good common sense thing that we should really all be doing for our health. So um, that's really where, you know, I come at it nutrition wise. Um, but I thought maybe we'd also talk about a few really important takeaways from that everybody can be doing in order to improve the look of their arms. Besides the program that you've developed, along with the program I've developed um, in Armed and Ready for Summer, I think another really important thing that people really need to focus on is just the idea of being consistent. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about that when it comes to fitness? How important is that to get to goal? Well, I think it is because like, you know, like anything else, if you're trying to reach a goal, you have to work towards that goal. It's, it's, it's not going to be easy. Um, you know, you have to work at it. And, uh, you know, with this, with the arm exercises, I, I think that this program, you know, to, to reach your goal in four to six weeks, you should be going through the fitness portion of the program mm -hmm. um, three to four times a week. Yes. Yeah. You don't need to do the complete HIIT workout. If you prefer, you can do your cardio workout of choice and then do the arm exercises at the end if, if you prefer to do it that way. Um, or even if it's a day of rest on cardio, you can do the, the arm exercises because it, it's going to, you know, you want to stress those muscles and, you know, to ensure that there will be some change. And, you know, that's why you're going to have to increase some of the, the variables over time. You know, if you're starting with three or five pound weights, then, you know, build that up to eight to 10 uh, to 12, whatever you can handle with, you know, with, with keeping good form, so. Yeah, I think that's really, really important. So working at it consistently, and absolutely that applies to the nutrition aspect. You know, so many people start a diet program and, you know, by the weekend, they have forgotten all about it. They've got diet amnesia. So it is really important that you stay consistent. Um, and like you said, it does take about four to six weeks. So we really encourage people start now, mm -hmm. don't put it off. In fact, we're going to leave the link for this program in the comments. So you can learn more about Armed and Ready for Summer and understand a little bit more about our philosophy. Um, I also want to mention just as a practical solution, take your, your arm circumference measurements. You know, you could do body measurements before you begin our program or any program, but fat loss comes at about 1% a month. So you have to be realistic and it might also help you to stay motivated by creating some interim goals. They could be weight goals because armed and ready for summer, you're going to shed some weight, mm -hmm. um, hopefully if you're following the plan. And also you can create some other goals. Like if you've got a favorite, you know, sleeveless tank top or whatever, put it front and center in your closet, try it on, take some pictures, really start noticing what your arms look like and document it. So great. Any other thoughts, Stacey, before we wrap up? I think we've covered everything. So I hope everyone's excited to get started. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the link is in the comments and we hope we're all going to see all of you um, inside the challenge of Armed and Ready for Summer. And something super important we forgot to mention is Armed and Ready for Summer comes with a bonus call for each of us. Yes. So it's optional, but we are here if you need us and it can be a very helpful 
part of getting to your goal. There's nothing like talking to a coach to really help you reach your goal. So Stacey, thank you so much for joining me. And it was a lot of fun. And um, we'll see you all in Armed and Ready for Summer. Take care.